Okay, you guys, this is a little next YouTube video. I'm hearing too much about the uh, electromagnetic field, radiation. Some people say it's electromagnetic field, it's not radiation. Other people say that's exactly what it is. Um, I guess people know better than I do. Either way, one of these tests can give you readings on your cell phone and stuff like that. Give you an idea how much you're putting towards your brain or uh, your ear or whatever. Your head, uh, if you're killing any brain cells, damaging any brain cells, have potential to get uh, brain cancer or something else. Just using a cell phone or even a Bluetooth piece headset. Okay, so it can get kind of tricky. This came in the box over here. Pretty much in there like that. And we really had a cover. The batteries came DOA on, on arrival. So just to let you know, this was basically up here, excuse me. Has some information. I read through it briefly. And let's see the little bit I found so far. Okay. Now that we don't put the box anymore. I didn't read the whole thing. I found out a few curious things and we'll go from there and see what I found out, okay? Uh, first, we can turn the unit on by holding the top of me down for, I guess, two seconds. That felt like. And it always goes to Celsius. So, you have to press the side button on this side, on the right side, and that'll bring it back to Fahrenheit. So, Celsius, Fahrenheit, okay? Being in the US of A, I'm used to Fahrenheit, but it's also nice that uh, someone who understands uh, Celsius, they can get that reading. Okay, so that's a nice thing. I like some of the simplicity of this tool. I'm not sure how accurate or how precise it is, but let's see what we can find out in the next few minutes. You have a UT and an MG. I gotta read and find out what that means. I'm sure you guys can Google that and <laughs> you can get an idea. It says MG now and then UT. Okay? And then you have a mode switch down here and a light. It says hold. Okay, max. And if you hold the button down, you actually get a light, a little light bulb up there. You have a battery indicator. It looks like it says speaker on. I don't know how to turn the speaker on or off. There it is. You hold down the button. <laughs> I didn't read the full instructions, so I had to guess on the last one. Okay, but that's good. Um, I'm going to pull it to the side. I'm going to bring a cell phone over here. And then we're going to test it a little bit. And see if we can get a reading on the cell phone, okay? I think if you have it next to the phone, there's a possibility... It might start from that reading, so I'm going to pull it away, put it on the cell phone. Okay, I have it away now. Turn it on, off. Okay, turn it back on. Okay, it went on, so it's still on UT. Okay, I got the light on. Let's see if we get any kind of reading here. Okay. I got it. Oh, you guys saw that? Just turning the phone on. <laughs> I think you guys picked that up. Uh, yeah, you guys saw that. Uh, this says sensor position. I'm thinking. Okay, so that was what I got so far. Now I'm going to turn the phone over because I'm going to call it. Okay, I'm pull it away again. Actually, I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to call it and see what kind of readings I might get. All right. Okay, let's get the other phone over here. Wow, you guys saw that? Was it because I brought another phone contact with it? Or is it because it's uh, sending out a signal to locate the tower? Okay, that was odd. Didn't expect that one. <laughs> Excuse me for moving the camera. Okay, I think we're doing okay so far for somebody who's never used anything like this. Okay, let's get my other phone over here and I'm gonna call that phone and see what we get. Okay, that was pretty high. That must be where that antenna is, in that location. So you see I'm getting a pretty constant 
reading there, so you have to figure out how it works. I bet you that's where the antenna was on that phone. Okay, so that's what I mean. I have to learn how to use this tool. Uh, so if you're interested in something like this, you're probably going to go through the same learning process I'm going through. It's a cute little gadget. Not sure how precise it is. I'm sure if you really uh, want to get more precise, you're going to need something a little more costly. About 30 bucks on Amazon. I'm just curious. And so far, I'm more curious on how to learn how to use this tool because it's giving me a, even a warning. Uh, let me know, wow, there's something going on here. So you can use your phone, putting it on a speakerphone, people can hear your conversation, which is a downside, but the phone's not next to your ear. Okay, that was weird again. I'm pretty sure every so often this contacts a tower, and that's why I got that uh, thing, because that happened twice so far in our little video. Either way, I think you guys have enough information for now. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to need a device like this, but I'm finding more and more curious First before I order, and after I order, now that I'm testing it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.